Welcome back. We have 50,000 thoughts a day. Most of those are negative. Most of those are inaccurate. And why is that so? What is ground zero? What is the original thought that spawns all of the other inaccurate thoughts that we have? My favorite explanation of what spawns all of this negative, judgmental, inaccurate thinking is this feeling is a threat. You see, when I consider that a rising emotion is a threat, I immediately go into survival mind. I get a little bit of adrenaline, a little bit of cortisol, and I start acting as if I'm being attacked by a dog. When I'm attacked by a dog, I go into zero-sum game thinking. My thinking becomes very primitive. Do I run? Do I fight? Do I freeze? I get very judgmental. I don't like the dog. And I get pinpoint attention onto the dog. Now, these are very, very important things to happen to help me save my life when a dog is attacking me. But when I think that an emotion is a threat and I go into that same way of thinking, I lose all of my emotional intelligence. I lose all of the eight C's and five P qualities of the true self. Those are the exact qualities that I need when I'm feeling emotional, when life has thrown me a curveball. And so this is why remaining calm in the face of negative emotions is super important. This is why actually receiving them, welcoming them, not being threatened by them, is the most important thing that we can do for ourselves. Now this is, this is a diametrically opposed way of meeting our emotions. This is not how we've been taught. But just like we can acquire any other skill, we can practice receiving emotions in a calm nervous system. So let's begin. The only thing that you need for this contemplation is a desire to do things differently, a desire to meet your thoughts and emotions in a different way, which takes a little bit of work, especially initially. And so now notice if your mind has something to say about that. It might say something like, I don't feel like doing any work. I want to be entertained. I'm feeling lazy. And this is a great opportunity to notice that this is just the mechanical thinking of the computer program called the mind. Those thoughts are really what come between us and lasting freedom and peace. Those thoughts are what keep us in the survival mind. So be open just for now to letting go of this kind of thinking and becoming present. For the moment, just present to your breath. With a nice inhale through the nose. Then a long, long, long exhale through the pursed lips. And again, becoming those, that expert noticer. And so now our noticing skills will be directed at a difficult emotion. So bringing to mind a place in your life that makes you feel uncomfortable, a place that you're triggered. Could be in a relationship, could be a work problem, it could be unrest here or unrest in the rest of the world. And we're gonna use this emotion in our exercise. So inviting this feeling up, bringing it to mind, inviting it in, and saying an internal yes to revisiting this situation. So really noticing what the emotion is when you think of this situation. What's the feeling in the body that comes up? Is there a constriction in the throat? Is there tension in the shoulders? Is there a sinking feeling in your gut? Just connecting with those physical sensations. And what we're gonna do is something that we typically don't do. This is the small but yet quite radical step of just allowing that feeling to be there. 
becoming intimately familiar with this feeling. And noticing, is this feeling old? Is it new? Does it feel familiar? And again, noticing if the mind has an opinion on it. Does it hate it? Does it love it? Is it frustrated that it's still around? Does it tell a story about this feeling and make it seem extra personal? Again, notice the mind trying to resolve the issue. The mind's actually not going to be successful in fixing the actual problem. It's just desperately trying to get you out of the discomfort because it has considered this feeling a threat for so long. And for right now, just noticing that feeling the feeling in this space is actually okay and that the mind can relax. So turning your attention away from the mind chatter and again focusing in on that feeling. Focusing on where you're feeling it most. In the shoulders, in the throat, in the chest, in the belly. And actually inviting it to become stronger. Totally understanding that if we don't go into our minds, if we don't go into the thinking place, if we don't hop on the thought train, these emotions really can't affect us in any meaningful way for any meaningful amount of time. So meeting this feeling in a new way by letting it completely have its life, by letting it vibrate in the space of your awareness. And if the feeling tries to slip away, just refreshing it in your mind by picturing the person or the event that has caused this emotion to happen. In breathing, unbracing, and unthinking. Letting your body relax, letting your mind relax, and letting the feeling just be there. And then noticing, is this feeling personal? Does this feeling really imply the story that you think it implies? Is this feeling really a threat? And what am I? Am I this feeling? Am I defined by this situation? Am I forced to focus on this problem as if it's the sum total of my existence? Or am I what's aware of this feeling? Am I what is aware of what the thinking mind has to say about this feeling? Is my true self not what is the inner spaciousness that allows this feeling to even be here in the first place. And so just for now, letting go of even the feeling and resting in that awareness. Resting in that quiet space that doesn't need thoughts or feelings in order to exist. And notice the okayness of being in this pure state of presence. Now, if the thoughts and emotions become loud again, and we lose the awareness that we are, in fact, the space that exists before and between the thoughts, that we are the quiet landscape on which life is painted. If we lose sight of that because the thoughts and the feelings become loud, we invite ourselves again to in-breathe, to unbrace, and to unthink. And in fact, we can use the emotion to reconnect us. Letting go of thinking for the moment 
and bringing awareness back to where it is that we feel this emotion in our body. Saying yes to this emotion and tending to it by giving it our full attention. And if we do that, it will naturally dissipate into the space of our awareness. And so now practicing seeing ourselves do this in real time. Visualize ourselves walking through our day, getting triggered because that's going to happen, and noticing ourselves responding to the inner upset by reminding ourselves that our thoughts won't bring us home and that by saying an internal yes, relaxing in the face of the difficult emotions and just letting them be there is our ticket back to reconnecting with who we truly are and living in that beautiful, joyful space that we call our true selves. In breathing, unbracing, and unthinking. <laughs>